Okay, now this is part two. This is part two of the work authorization that we're getting done, right? Now, as you can see, my stuff is still here and everything. Now we call some other people. Some real some we call some, you know, some people that's really about business. These individuals right here. Love Travel Center. Now, as you can see in the back, this is what he brought. He brought me two set of rims, two brand new rims, two brand new tires. All right. He already has the work order and stuff. He already has the work order and everything. Now, what he did, what he did bring me was my product. What he didn't bring was a gun. He didn't bring, he didn't bring a gun. We're gonna go over here. We're gonna. I'm not gonna show him on video or nothing. Okay, that's my work order right there, right? Okay, now, here's the work order right here and stuff. Now, sir, have I already paid this already? Yes, sir. This already been paid? Yes, sir. Okay. They already been paid before they came out here. This is this is my grand total right here. So the only thing he has to do is fix my wheels, and he's out of here. Did you bring a gun with you, sir? No, sir. He doesn't have a gun. He doesn't have a gun. The reason why he don't have a gun is because he's about trying to take care of business. Okay? So what he's doing right now and stuff is that he's gathering my information. Once he, once he gets my information, he's going to put this on my vehicle. He's going to put this on my vehicle, and we're going to leave. All right? Because, see, these are the people you need to call and stuff right here because they're, they're pretty understanding. They know I spoke with the, rep, I spoke with the representative Andy. Andy told, Andy told, I told Andy everything that I needed. He told me how much the bill was going to be. He transferred, he transferred me over to the representative over there. I paid them with an EFS check, and that's why they're out here. They got, they already, they already know what the bill is. They brought my stuff out here. He's going to fix it, and he's going to be out of here. That's that. He doesn't have to wait around because he could have did. Well, like most, like most businesses do and stuff, is that give you some kind of rough estimate and stuff, so you can go ahead, you can call your people, let them know and stuff in advance what it's going to be and stuff, so you can go ahead, you can cut them and check the whole nine yards. Like I said, he brought me my product. He didn't bring me no gun. There's no discrepancies or nothing like that. Oh yeah, and he called me several times to let me know and stuff that you know this is what time I'm going to be here and stuff. And he got here exactly at the time he said he was going to get here. This is how you do business right here, people. This is how you do business. He came out here in the, he came out here in the sunlight. He brought me my product. He said to himself, he doesn't have a gun. He already been paid and stuff like that. Now, my thing is, is that the bill is a little bit larger on account that I have to pay for these rims here. But other than that, he could have been, he could have came out here yesterday, took care of it. And that's that. You need the registration from that can't read the place. Yeah, okay, all right. Trailer. Yeah, no problem. And there it is, people. There it is. Like I said, I'm just I'm just giving him what little information and stuff that he needs, but they already been paid and stuff because they're out here trying to do business. That's professionalism right there. That's professionalism. That's why, that's why small businesses just don't get it. This is why people. This is why people choose to go with large. This is why people choose to go with mega with mega corporations because they come here, they come to do a job and stuff, and they're on their way. They don't use people like these guys here. They don't use them because see these people right here, they'll make up a bill and stuff like that, and then they'll charge you for five hours and stuff when they didn't when they didn't do five hours worth of work. They come here, they bring guns. They bring all they bring guns to their you know when they come to do work. So as I was saying, right, he's going back there. He's about to get he's about he's about to go to work. He's already been paid, okay, before they even showed up here and stuff. So again, there's not gonna be any kind of discrepancies. They already been paid. He's gonna cut the work order and stuff like that. Once that's been done, I'm gonna sign it. He's gonna go on his way. I'm gonna go on mine. This is why people choose to go with these guys right here because again, they don't show up with guns. They don't try to strong arm you, nothing like that. They tell you what the bill is gonna be. 
You either take it or leave it and stuff. If you don't like it, you can hang up the phone and stuff. No need of getting, no need of getting uncivil or unruly or nothing like that. You already know what you're dealing with. Right on top of the, you know, right off the gate. You already know what you're dealing with. Not stuff like this. They make it up as they go along and stuff, and then they leave you stranded over here, you know, in some truck stop. Now, the thing is, is that um, that bill there was 1100 That bill there was $1,174.84. $1,184.84. The original bill was $900. With these guys right here, $930. $930. Now, here's the check right here again that we had to void out and stuff for $960. Here's the rest of it for $330. All I was trying to do was pay him. But instead, he wants to show up with guns. I'm showing, we're showing up with money, trying to take care of business. He's showing up with guns. He's showing up with guns, stealing your stuff. Oh, and one more thing. He took, he took my CDLs and stuff, and then he texted me this morning. He texted me this morning, and to show you the, uh, to show you the, uh, the professionalism and stuff, he's going to take my stuff to some place called Dobbs. I had to tell him, could you take, my, could you take my, uh, my CDLs and stuff and turn them in at the police station? I'll pick them up from there. I had to tell him this. Again, this right here, SCT, Southern Christian Transportation. Now, why is it I can call the loves, right? And I can get them paid. And they can show up with my stuff and I can get out of here. But when I call this guy right here, he wants to show up. Robert, you want to show up with guns. You want to show up with guns. Here's the T check right here. Here's the EFS check that we were paying you with. $330 right there. $960 right there. We were paying you. We just had to block, we just had to block this out here. You want to charge five hours. You want to charge five hours for work that you didn't do. They want to show up with guns. Loves is showing up with your product. They showing up with your work order. They showing up with professionalism. Ready to work. Ready to get the job done. That's what they're doing. Because they understand the aspects of business. And this guy right here, Robert, Southern Christian Transportation, which also hauls freight, if they're gonna if they're gonna sit there and steal stuff like that, imagine what they'll do with imagine what they'll do with your freight. Imagine what they'll do with your freight. I don't need to show anything else right here. The proof is in the pudding. We call someone else to rectify the situation, and and the situation is being resolved and stuff without having to get the police involved because they were already paid before they got here. That's professionalism right there. This is James Allen McClain, better known as Rhode Island Red Rooster, showing you the difference. This is part two. Please share.